What's up guys? So today we are headed back to a theme park for another ride opening. This time it is at Disney's Hollywood Studios and we are headed to see Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Really excited for this ride. Um, it's replacing the great movie ride, which was a classic. So hopefully it's really good. All the reviews I've seen on Twitter from people are very positive. I have stayed away from spoilers though. And uh, speaking of that, this video, I'm just telling you now, is not going to have a POV of the ride. For one thing, there's already like plenty of POV videos out there. And for two, with like the new rides, I kind of like to just experience it with my own eyes for the first time. So I'm not going to like record on the ride. So yeah, we're going to head down to Disney, brave the heat, enjoy a brand new ride, and maybe see what else we can get up to. All right, we made it to Hollywood Studios. Uh, there actually is a nice breeze, which is uh, ideal. But our fast pass, I think we're gonna ride in about an hour or so. So we're gonna head into the park and see what we can find. So here's the ride. There's no weird Star Wars stage over here to block the view. Um, like I said, we do have a fast pass for this in a bit, which is kind of weird because it's the opening day of the attraction and we already have fast passes for it. So yeah, it's been running at pretty good capacity all day. So hopefully it will continue to do that and we can ride it. So in addition to Runaway Railway, there's also another new attraction that hasn't really gotten quite as much press, but it's a vacation fun. It's like a roughly 10 minute long Mickey Mouse cartoon. So I guess we're gonna go in and check this out. We're in the theater waiting for the, the short. I just wanna point out that these seats are the coolest things ever. Mickey short was pretty fun, you know, nothing too crazy, but it was a fun little 10 minute diversion. Well, it's uh, time to use the fast pass, but of course, the ride has gone down like right now, so hopefully it'll be a quick turnaround. So while we're waiting, we came into Starbucks. I got like three cookies for $3.29, kind of a solid deal. And Mike got this like new Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. That's like really hard to say. Um, blueberry pie, I guess. It's like a new thing. I guess it's in relation to the ride somehow. Uh, if it comes back up, we'll, we'll see. All right, so about 50 minutes or so after it went down, it's back open. We have a fast pass that we can use at any time for the rest of the night. So we're gonna try and use it now, and we'll see how long it takes to get on. Oh wow, that's cool. Oh, Alright, so we just got off the ride. Give me my thoughts in a second, but I just want to show you a little bit of the merch. I uh, got this like yellow t-shirt, really cool. I really like this print down here. Pretty cool. And there's me. Oh, they have a... Uh, this, so this Nothing Can Stop Us Now, that's like the song, and it's very catchy. It's probably gonna be stuck in my head like for weeks. Um, conductor hats, I got these little like wind up train toys. So yeah, pretty cool. Okay, so Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. I thought it was very fun. Um, it's not like a super groundbreaking, anything crazy, but it's really fun. I had a smile on my face the whole time. It's pretty funny. Um, there's a lot of really cool sets, a uh, nice mixture of projection mapping and physical sets. Um, it's pretty good animatronics. And overall, I think the, the main thing I had going for it was A, the music was super catchy and like really fun to listen to, really fit well with the ride. But the main thing was kind of just the overall aesthetic. Uh, very bright colors that really popped and it kind of made the whole experience a little better. I thought it was really fun. I'll definitely be riding that again. All right, so we're heading into Toy Story Land. This little uh, scrim here. This is like where the entrance to the new restaurant's gonna be. I'm not sure when that opens, but yeah, new restaurant coming. I know I've probably said this before, but I love Toy Story Land at night. It is so nice. I think Slinky's coming. There he is. Oh. Oh, 
Slinky Dog's only at 25 minutes. So I think we're gonna do that. I haven't been on this since soft opening, so I'm pretty pumped to ride this again. We're on the bus. All right, so we got five minutes until the park's closed. All we gotta do is get in line for the Falcon. So that's what we're trying to do. We are speed walking. Slinky was awesome. But yeah, we're on Galaxy's Edge. Great news, we made it. Boarding conversation anyway. Aha, another group of flight candidates. Welcome, my friend, welcome, welcome. What a fine looking group of flight professionals. You remind me of me, but without the bounty on your heads. Ah, look at that, a few of you. You've flown for me before. I can't believe you made it back. And it's good you made it back. Good for you. Well, looks like this time I'm, a, I'm an engineer this time. So we'll see how that goes. All right, here we go. Me and Travis are uh, engineering back here. Mike's gunning up there. Uh, hopefully we don't blow it. Greatly help the resistance. You have heard the first order and made Chewie proud. Now after my modest profit, your god minus what you owe me for damaging the Falcon is hey, not bad. I will take it. <laughs> all right, I Marauder, is that good? I think that's good. So I did pretty good as the engineer. I think I hit all my marks. Um, also, Galaxy's Edge is totally empty. Well, I mean, it's not, but it's pretty empty. Empty Galaxy's Edge, everybody. This is pretty incredible. Got the milk stands. Got the first order ship. Pretty dang awesome. guys just got back home what a great day at the park kind of the original plan was just to show up and do mickey and minnie's runaway railway <laughs> and then just head out but we actually had time to go on two other rides that are typically pretty long waits and we got on both in a very short amount of time so that is always fun as for mickey and minnie's again i didn't film on the ride because i just wanted to look around see with my own eyes and <laughs> as i had speculated earlier there are tons of povs already out there so 
chances are you've actually probably already seen one by now. Overall, I enjoy the ride. We were talking about our rankings for rides in the park. I think I put it fourth behind Rise of Resistance, of course, and then Tower of Terror and Aerosmith. I put it behind those, but it's really fun, really colorful, and there are tons of like little details and Easter eggs, most of which I didn't even notice, so I'm gonna have to go ride it again. But tons of details, again, not like an A plus or anything like that, but hey, I really enjoyed it and I'm looking forward to riding it again. But that's gonna do it for me for tonight. So thank you guys for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe for more and I'll see you guys in the next one.